secret weapon I'm running away To make you fall in love with me I can't create the illusion I'll turn you around With reverse psychology Hey, what's up out there? So I'm making another video. This one is a song that I kind of discovered on my own. Uh, because of the internet, I've been able to do a lot of that. And so I discovered this song. This is a, a song done by um, the Osmond Boys. Or is it just Osmond Boys? Anyway, um, this is uh, the offspring of uh, Alan Osmond, the oldest brother in the group, the Osmonds, and, uh, his sons ended up making a sort of like a boy band kind of thing, and then they ended up making a couple albums, and so, uh, this was their first, uh, I guess, single that put them on the mark, put them on the map a little bit, and it's called Reverse Psychology. Now, I have an interesting relationship with the song because when I first discovered this song, I first discovered a live performance, and this can be found on YouTube. And um, when I heard the the live performance, I'm like, "Wow, this song is really catchy." That's what I thought. I thought uh, I thought it was really catchy. I thought the dancing was pretty fun to watch too. And uh, but then when I heard the real song, I didn't like it as much. <laughs> I just think it, it had it had potential to be catchy, but there's like there's key things that made me not like this song, and uh, I'll get into that. So I'm just gonna start you off with the melody. The song pretty much is a three part harmony in a four member group. So I'm gonna play you the uh, the melody just now. So have a listen. I got a secret weapon. I'm running away to make you fall in love with me. psychology so the reason why i sing this in falsetto is because i can't sing this uh at the time their voices hadn't dropped and uh the lead singer being the youngest of course um actually that doesn't have much relevance in comparison to the fact that the high harmony is actually sang by his older brother which i think is interesting in this group even going back to their earlier days they actually mimicked a lot of their uh their dad's career in the sense that they started off with barbershop and then ended up moving into like pop uh and the osmonds kind of did that the osmonds started off as a, a barbershop quartet then they ended up kind of going into more of like pop they kind of started off with bubblegum pop and then ended up just kind of going into pop and then sort of like a motown sound and also rock uh, something I appreciated about them is they had a v different variety of sounds throughout the career. Um, but, uh, yeah. And the the second oldest brother in the group sang high harmonies uh, in the Osmond, Osmond Boys in their barbershop, during their barbershop days. And in, in this song, I found that it's it's him too. Like, his voice is pretty distinct, distinctive. I was going to say distinct, distinct, distinguishable distinguishable sorry about that um but they end up making a switch uh when they perform it live because this is one of those cases where um their songs ended up having to be dropped quite a bit because literally within a year or a year and a half the brothers voices started to, started to go because they're like in their early teens sort of thing so um this is the case for that. So the second oldest brother ended up... They Not only did they start dropping their songs... This is one of the examples. I'm not that familiar with them. But with the reference that I have... They dropped the song... And... Uh, the pitch, I mean. And the second oldest brother ended up... Taking... On the melody... And then... The little brother ends up singing like lead slash high harmony and i'll show you guys that later another interesting thing about this group is the i don't know if it really if you, it really matters to you at all it's just kind of interesting to me the fact that the second oldest brother it seemed as though he was a little bit behind in puberty in comparison to the brother just underneath him so the third oldest brother 
he ended up being taller than him and with a lower voice, while the second oldest brother, although they're your part, uh, he, he still had like a higher voice and he was a little bit shorter and looked a little younger. So I think that's, I don't know why I find that interesting, but the, the third oldest brother, although he was already singing lower parts, he ended up singing lower parts anyway because his voice was like further into its development anyway i'm talking too much but um now i'm gonna play you the high harmony and we have more to explain about this song i got a secret weapon to make you fall in love with me i can't create the illusion with reverse psychology Okay, so, um, when they perform this live, again, I only have one, I literally only have one reference, uh, for this song. Actually, no, I have two references. I have two references for this song live performance. And, uh, when they perform it live, they don't perform it like, uh, I got a secret weapon, but rather it's, I got a secret weapon. Which I actually think sounds better. I'm going to talk more about this later. But um, what's interesting is they actually kind of have this variation in this song. I'm going to play you that right now. But it only appears in this little half. The second half here. Can't create the illusion. Okay. So if you decide to listen to this song. Take a, uh, uh, take a very um, close look at this. So they actually kept the high harmony the the one i showed you previous to the last one you just heard so that one obviously was just straight through and actually it wasn't saying in falsetto that's kind of the point i was trying to make that the uh the older brother uh he was singing high harmonies and the song's quite high so i guess his, his voice was still able to do it at the time but um they kept that and then they added in create the illusion not create the illusion you hear the difference create and create create with those two together it makes this fighting ring that doesn't fit in the song in my opinion the song is like a smooth kind of uh exciting pop song and then uh, it, it, they have this really dissonant note because for some reason they decided to throw that in and mind you the create the illusion it sounds very added because it doesn't sound like it's coming from anywhere and it's in falsetto so this was obviously like a different time they probably thought like oh you know i i think it would sound better with this and they literally just threw it in they didn't replace it which i think they should have just replaced it because it makes this fighting ring um, I'll probably show you reference later. I don't tend to do that. My brother does a lot of that, but you know, that's always at the risk of uh, YouTube like taking it down or something like that. But um, I'll show you guys. Hopefully it's not banned in your country or whatever. But um, yeah, I just decided to do that because I find this song... I, it, it's funny because I find this live performance really catchy and I always listen to it. I think the song's really catchy, but then the real song to me isn't as catchy. Anyway... I'll play those two together and you'll see how they clash. I can't create the illusion. So did you hear that? How there was like sort of like fighting ring at the create? It's kind of a shame. Uh and and again, there's a lot in the production of this song that I don't like. Like the <laughs> the uh live performance sounds so much catchier. I wish it sounded more like it. Um even the instrumental I kinda like better. Um but uh, uh, actually, I'll play you. I'll play you that with the melody as the next step. I'll play you that with the melody. I got a secret weapon. I'm running away to make you fall in love with me. I can't create the illusion. I'll turn you around with reverse psychology. Okay, so now I'm gonna play you the lower harmony. And then we basically have the whole song. So, uh, I'll play you that next. I've got a secret weapon To make you fall in love with me I can't create the illusion With 
reverse psychology. So, um, the live performance that I keep talking about, it is very obvious to me that two brothers are actually singing this part. Which, if you know anything about me, I think that kind of thing is lame. Because uh, two people singing the same thing, what's the point? Or someone's already singing that. You know what I mean? And this is like a, a low harmony. Like, why? I would much prefer somebody sing like like an underlay melody instead. Like, that makes more sense to me. But two people singing the lower harmony the exact same way? Why couldn't you just have done something else? <laughs> you know what I mean? But whatever. Nonetheless, I think this song's pretty catchy. Uh, let's play that with a melody now. I got a secret weapon. I'm running away to make you fall in love with me. I can't create the illusion. I'll turn you around with reverse psychology. So like I said, the real song, there are some production things that I don't necessarily like. Uh, there are some things that I found to be a little off-key that they could have redone. Uh, they copied and pasted the chorus over and over and over. It's the same take, and I don't like that either. And I don't like the take either. <laughs> Here, so let's have a listen. Let's explore this. Uh, I don't tend to do this. My brother usually does in his videos, but I'm going to play you a reference. <laughs> So, the chorus, uh, the chorus always sounds like that as far as the, the melody, but not the backing vocals. I found that some of the backing vocals sounds kind of different, as if it, it wasn't all the same take. Now, one of the reasons why I believe it's all the same take, I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe if I further study the song, I'll be wrong. But the way he goes, I'm running away, he does it like this weird off-key whiny sound, like, I'm running kind of like that i'm running away and i don't like it here let's have a listen to it one more time and uh yeah it it sounds like that for all of the song i wouldn't have minded it if it was like in one chorus and then he actually went i'm running away it should be like that i'm running away not like i'm running away i don't like that here let's have a listen to that live performance that i think is really catchy and i listen to quite frequently What do you guys think? I think that was so much catchier, and it's like a live performance, you know? Like, live performances aren't usually better than, or in my opinion, sounds better than the actual song. But I find it more catchier, even though it's like a rough live performance. I just like the way everything sounds. So like I was saying before, I think uh, the second oldest brother, his voice dropped quite a bit. And he probably was no longer able to sing these high harmonies anymore. So instead, in the clip you heard, he's going, I've got a secret weapon. Okay. And the youngest brother in the group, who in the actual song goes, i got a secret weapon. In this, he's going, i got a secret weapon. And because he's like the lead, and I guess his mic is more like prominent or something, it almost sounds like the melody, but it's like the high harmony. So he goes, I've got a secret weapon. I'm running away to make you fall in love with me. Which is, which I think is interesting. Why I think it's interesting is because I actually think it sounds good as a melody. Like I think, I, like if it went like this, imagine it went like this. I've got a secret weapon. I'm running away. To make you fall in love with me. And then like, To make you fall in love with me. Is like a background vocal. Even though the secret weapon. To me it sounds like it could make for a good melody. Even though, uh, even if the melody is, I've got a secret weapon. That's still a good melody too though. But um, the way this live performance made it sound, it almost made it sound like the, the melody is, 
got a secret weapon. But um, because uh, the the second oldest brother is going, I got a secret weapon. And his mic is not as like prominent or whatever. It doesn't come across as it being the melody. It almost makes it sound like a harmony, which... Anyway, all in all, I like that live performance. It sounds good to me. Okay, so, um... If you got all that down, you can perform how Osmond Boys recorded, uh... Reverse Psychology. I was almost gonna say Secret Weapon. Reverse Psychology. So, uh... Sing in harmony, live in harmony. Till next video. I got a secret weapon. I'm running away to make you fall in love with me. I can't create the illusion. I'll turn you around with reverse psychology.